I think today we are going to be creating a case cluster map using the EpiInfo 7 geocoder. So begin by launching the EpiInfo 7 application on your desktop and clicking Create Forms. From here we are going to select New Project and we are going to name that project Sample. We are also going to name the form sample as well. Click OK. And from here you are going to expand the templates and fields and drag geolocation over to your canvas. From here we're going to click enter data which will allow us to input addresses. From here we're going to utilize the College of Charleston's address which is 66 George Street. and you're going to select Get Coordinates to provide the latitude and longitudinal coordinates for this address. You're going to click Accept and it will automatically input it into the fields for you. From here you're going to click New Record and we are going to input another address. This is the address for the University of South Carolina which is 1244 Blossom Street. Again click Coordinates accept and it will automatically input the two latitude and longitudinal coordinates in. We're going to click new record for one more. We're going to use Furman University's address which is 3300 Poinsett Highway. Again click coordinates, accept, it will automatically input those into there for you. From here we're going to click map and we're going to select add data layer and create cluster. From here we're going to select data source and click no to using external data. For the latitude field we'll select latitude and longitude, longitude. And from here the description we're just going to call it map. And to select a color to show the case cluster. Press OK and you will see that it is now denoted the three addresses for College of Charleston, University of South Carolina, and Furman University on our map of South Carolina. And this map will appear and this is how you will create a case cluster map using the EpiInfo 7 geocoder.